In this video, I'll be going through the best scratch add-ons that you need to enable right now. Let's get started. Well, if you don't know what scratch add-on is, it is a browser extension that makes scratch far, far better. And downloading it is really, really easy. Just click on the link in the description and click on this big download button. Then it will redirect you to the Chrome Web Store and just simply install it. Click on extensions and pin it and then you are good to go. Click on this gear icon and then it will redirect you to this page with a lot of useful features. But in this video, I'll show you the best ones that you need to enable right now. First is the dark mode. These days, everything is dark mode, whether it's YouTube, Disco, TikTok, everything is dark mode. And it's just great because it's really comfortable to the eye. But for some reason, Scratch still doesn't have it as an inbuilt feature. Bruh. But don't worry, Scratch are is here to help. Just search for dark mode and you can enable dark mode for the website and even the editor. You can also customize the colors according to your liking. Perfect. The next feature is called block swapping. I'm sure you had a time where you accidentally messed up the if or if else or o and n. I said there are no greater than. Well, I had a lot. Oh, you might need to just change it. Well, if you need to do so, you need to remove every other block associated with it and then delete it and then bring the new block in. Bruh. Really time consuming and annoying. But Scratch Addons has a really easy fix for this. Just search for block swapping and then enable the setting. Right click on the block you need to swap and then boom. Within just two clicks, you're done. Next feature is called Insert Block by Name. This is really handy. After enable this, hit Ctrl plus space and then you will get this small pop up with some useful blocks. Probably have seen Griffpass use this. You can drag and drop any block you want or you can also type the name of the block you need. This might take some time to get used to but once you are done, it's a great time saver. Next are the developer tools by none other than the greatest scratcher, Rift Patch. There are many useful power features in these developer tools. For example, copying and pasting blocks and proper cleanup for blocks. This is the normal scratch cleanup, which is awful, and this is scratch add-ons. So much better. Number 5 is the pause button. The name says it, it adds a pause button to your project. You can pause anything you want, but you can't code it or do anything like that. It's just a pause button. Number 6 is drag and drop. If you want to import anything into scratch, you need to use the import button. But it's so time consuming. But with this setting enabled, you can easily drag and drop files into Scratch. No more importing. Next is the Sprite Delete Confirmation. Have you ever deleted a Sprite accidentally? Just go and enable this setting. So now whenever you delete the Sprite, you will get this pop-up confirmation. This is a lifesaver. Number 8 is Sprite Folders. Look at this project and now look at this. One of the most important things that I learned when coding is staying organized. The sprite folders can be used to organize and sort sprites in your project. For example, a folder called UI with all UI sprites, the player with all the player sprites, etc. etc. This is a really handy way to stay organized. Number 9 is grabbing a single block. Yes, you heard that right, grabbing a single block. This process is so annoying in Scratch. When you have a lot of blocks connected to it, or maybe it's on a statement, you need to drag every single block which is connected to it and then do whatever you want. But with this setting, you can hold your control key and then it would only drag that single block. Next on our list is switching variables. You are making, let's say, a scrolling platformer. You made all of those variables and when you are coding, you remember you click for all sprites without for this sprite only. Go the other way. And now you know you are dead. The only option now is to delete the old variable and replace it with the new variable in every single place that you use the old one. But don't worry, Scratch Addons got you. Enable this setting and simply right click and switch the thing you want. 2 clicks. And I have no idea why Scratch still didn't add all of these useful features natively into Scratch. If some Scratchers did this, of course, all of these are possible by the Scratch team. 
But for now, Scratch add-ons is our only life save. And if you enjoyed this video, we might check in this video out where I show you how to break Scratch. See you in the next one.